Hi, so I'm here with Jen Evans today, who's been um, Women's Wellness Circle Co-Director for well over a year now. Can't remember exactly how long. Um, but yeah, today we're here to really for Jen to share about what's led to her decision to step down as Co-Director of the Women's Wellness Circle and to um, make some new steps forwards in her life into different avenues. So Jen, do you want to talk through a bit more about your your process and yeah yeah where you're at and yeah yeah so um yeah just wanted to spend a bit of time with with you our lovely audience today um just to explain this yeah decision that I've made to, to step down as the co-director of the women's wellness circle um which is a role that I've been really blessed feel really blessed to have been offered and then to have worked within within the last 18 months and um it's a role that's given me so much joy um, and learning and growth and connection, just, just so much connection with the team, the lovely team of people that, um, that really work so hard um, and give so much to keep this circle um, going and to offer new things through it all the time as well. Um, and then the community that it's serving, which is such um an incredible community um made up of w just probably much more of a variety of people than i was even expecting I, I i know that i've been part of this community before it's taken this role and communities like it and have you know good grounding and basins like having had chronic illness myself and still working with patterns that were part of that for sure they still um pop up when they want to um as these things do um but yeah just just the variety and the the globalness as well of this group of of women um in the community itself that are members and everyone as well that as part of um you know, the mailing list and the facebook group and the instagram like following and con all contributing all part of the same energy so it's just been an honor to meet so many different people um, all yearning for very similar things and that's the connection that like, really shows us the oneness of us as as humans like what what is it that we want we want to be fulfilled we want to feel love and we want to feel safe um, and we want to do that in connection and and really have clean connection with each other um, and I've really experienced not only that myself with others in this but witnessing others developing that um, is just it's mind-boggling it's, it's incredible to have that much access to people doing that in a healing way and um yeah yeah it's just been just been amazing so why on earth would I walk away from that <laughs> and I don't I don't and I, I don't feel like I'm just like I'm I'm off I'm off now see you bye and I'm gonna go off into the distance and just like pop and I just disappear um but I'm stepping back from the the business role, the business role of um, being the co-director, which I've loved and I love that kind of role. And it's something that I've always um, wanted to, to experience. Um, and the decision there is based um, on, and it's exactly what I talk about all the time in the community and in blogs and will continue to do so. It's about this true self alignment. And I think that this work is definitely aligned for me, this work, I'm, you know, I'm attracted to it and it's attracted to me. Um, but my truth, my true truth is always in creativity and in writing specifically. And I've known that I wanted to be a writer since I was a really small child. Um, and through the, through the illness process and then the healing and then the, my work at, since that that's happened, um, creativity and writing is part of my healing journey and it was something that I came to the circle to do to offer as part of what I was doing so offering you know blogs and 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 books and workbooks and a workbook we've got our new workbook that's just come out so I have had incredible joy and um, helping to produce that and co-writing it with you but um the my calling is in it I think is so much in sharing myself my experience my insight um and my ability to communicate in writing and so running the business um as much as it gave, gives me so much in other ways and gives out so much in other ways it gave me it's, 
increasingly less time to sit and have that space to write because when you're a creator and a writer you know it's not just oh I can grab five minutes there and get that out there and all oh, right yes I can go and sort that admin out it's you know you need to take you know space and say right this is my time to drop in here drop into my true self make that connection clean that all up and then start creating you know and then having a nice balance and flow outside of that and having a restorative time to then bring your true self to other types of work so I think I just could see very clearly um, recently that I just had too many things, just too many things, too many plates spinning. Um, the business takes, you know, it's a lot of nuts and bolts, you know that, <laughs> and and it's um, it's always trying to keep, you have to keep ahead of yourself so much. There's never a break between things, um, which can be really energetic and and get get like such a, a flow going but um when you're wanting to, yearning to also do some other things it can prevent you from being able to and then that's what that's what i found so if i'm going to teach you know if i'm going to practice what i preach and teach this about alignment to true self and i really believe that that will bring us so much health and balance and, and a better world that we will just make a better world if we are living according to our heart's desires then i need to be honest and say I make a big decision. I'll 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 have to realign myself and step away from some of the things that I desperately want to do, but there it just physically isn't enough hours in my day. Or um, you know, I haven't gone through an illness. I promised myself, and I found out about myself that I'm not the kind of person who it, who um, does well um, working. You know, seven in the morning till seven at night, six days a week. It just doesn't suit me. Some people that might suit but it just doesn't for me i need much more of a nice undulation so very difficult really difficult decision not one i wanted to have to make and not not one i thought i had to make but the world doesn't uh to go to, to according to our own own uh, visions or control sometimes um and that's another example of what we teach surrender surrender to the process yeah yeah great thanks Jen for sharing all of that and um, yeah and she was just that with so much gratitude for how much work you have put into the circle and how what a support that has been to the women and what a support that has been to the to the women's wellness circle so yeah thank you from me for everything that you've you've given to to the circle it's very very much appreciated and and in a way it's really yeah just really inspiring to hear you um <clears throat> really stepping into what feels most aligned for you in your life and your purpose and your next steps and yeah is there anything else you want to share with the with the community with the wider community in terms of your process that yeah um important yeah <clears throat> i want to thank the, i want to thank you and i want to thank the team because of the great connection and the energy and the incredible work that that you're all doing um, and being a part of that has been um, amazing. And I think that there's been a, um, a way that our energies have come together um, in, in certain things that have really uh, inspired and, and really given a lot out. And, uh, you know, I yearn to, to continue with that. And I think that this alignment exactly, um, even though it's a really difficult decision to move in a slightly different direction at the minute, it's still about the same thing. It's about really taking that energy and using it in the in the way that feels like it would serve the, the most serve you know my it, serving myself so it doesn't deplete myself but it serves others in, in, a, in the best way that it possibly can and I think that for me right now putting that energy into in, inspiration resources which is what I consider my writing to be and will continue to be because I'm currently writing a book um, that will be for you know the, a healing community um, and for women all over the world that my energy will be directed into that so I'll still be giving out and still be serving in that way it's just that it won't look the same right now and I know that that um, has you know an effect on, on our community because I've made some really great relationships and feel like we've got such great energy with the members of the community and with others that follow us and, and do interact with us on in our different platforms and the, it's just been an honor and I want to thank all of the incredible courageous warrior women that have come into the community that are attracted to the community that um that make it what it is um and just witnessing all of the things that they're all going through that i'm all going through 
I can recognize it. Sometimes I'm going through it myself. Sometimes I can walk alongside others through that suffering or through their joy or whatever it is that they're experiencing in that moment. And um, that's, that's what keeps my, my, keeps fueling me and keeps filling up my well of ideas and inspiration and motivation to work in with this still and to help others. Um, so as much as I might not be doing the nuts and bolts of this business, I'll still be present somewhere here. I'll be contributing where and when I can. And I'll be, you'll know that the community, you, you will know that I'm here somewhere still, um, busying away, um, creating resources that will hopefully bring you inspiration um, and wisdom and, um, you know, all the things I could hope for to share with others. Um, so yeah. it's just a little, little tweak of what I'm producing um, and, and, and my presence but yeah I'm still around. Yeah and the intention is still to where possible to contribute blogs and yeah. videos and that sort of thing to the circle and yeah. and um, yeah and if anyone is feeling concerned about particularly members of the community moving forwards um, uh, you can of course email Joanne about that joannewomenswellnesscircle.com and also just to I reassure you that um, myself and Moon and some other amazing women will be stepping into um, positions of more of, of higher leadership within the organization and offering um, support to you in so many different ways. So, um, so I'm sure you'll miss Jen's amazing personality and presence in the community and you'll also be blessed with lots of um, new incredible women as well and, and, and Moon will be stepping up more as well. So um, and we're gonna, yeah, Moon and I will let you know more about about that um, soon in another video. Um, yeah. So, any final words, Jen? Or um, I'm just, I just feel um, amazing that 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 group of women that you're talking about is there. Like anybody that shares their truth is is going to be changing the world and supporting others. So, um, I really send all of my my heart and my energy to everyone continuing this beautiful work and. And just, um, I just hope that everyone um, keeps finding the circles that are right for them, keeps finding the support that are right for them, and we keep, you know, we keep moving and shifting. But, but in, a, in, it's all for a positive reason. It's all um, for growth and for um, our greatest fulfillment, expression, our greatest self-expression. So, um, yeah, great. Thanks so much, Jen. And if anyone is, is um, not familiar with the circle, just look up womenswellnesscircle.com. Soon it will be updated. <laughs> Jen's presence won't be so obviously all over there, but um, but you can find out more about the community and, and what we offer. And um, and Jen, and yeah, what's, do you want to let people know your details in case they want to find out more about working with you? Yeah, and... sure. Um, my details are on the on the Women's Wellness yeah. website because I'll be listed as a, as a coach. I'll, I continue yeah. my one-to-one -one work with people and my group work, which I which I offer um, uh, healing sessions. So, um, but you can find anything out about me at uh, my website, uh, which is balanceandflow.org. <laughs> <laughs> Great, yeah, and you can find that on the team page of the Women's Wellness Circle website as well. Okay, great. Okay, well, thanks so much for yeah listening to us today and and uh, sending you so much love. And thanks, Jen, again for everything you've contributed. It's been a wonderful journey. To... You know, it's been an honour. Thank you.